Greetings, I'm Demonac, and it's arena time. Well, I thought this Paladin deck was mediocre in a good way, but based on the uh, statistics here, it's starting to look like it's mediocre in a bad way. I mean, apart from the lack of Consecrates, it does sort of lack meaty 3 and 4 cost minions. It, it has very few. There, there's a spider tank. There's a harvest golem. There's not a lot else that is a high attack, higher defense, you know, medium casting cost sort of minion. I have some big stuff, but I have not been getting like when when the game went late. I never seem to have the big expensive late game guys that I need. That didn't really improve my hand. I mean, I I generally see the Owl as being more useful late game. So, given the option, I will save it there, but, uh, well. Well, I got a two cost, two four cost things, but I think I'm still better off playing the Mech Warper and just... Chances of me drawing a Mech to, like, to play for cheaper next turn are very low. But he's still a 2-3 for 2, and opponent will likely spaz out trying to kill him. Just flip their lid. Not gonna say it this time. No, oh, bonus. I'm not sure if that's really bonus. See, if I play this guy, I can bubble this and keep it alive, and like hit for two or something, but then he can just turn around and kill my guy, and then I'm not really getting that far ahead, am I? I wonder. Just keep him out. The other choice is I could play the Pyromancer, and he'll probably use this to kill the Pyromancer. And if for some reason he didn't, then I could Blessing of Kings, and the one damage will, like, kill stuff like crazy. I can't Blessing of Kings next turn anyway, though. Oh, whatever, we'll just do this. Go aggro. Again, I'm making it look like this is important to me, so maybe my opponent will spend even more effort to kill it. Or maybe he'll wisely think, as an arena deck, how many mechs can I have? Ouch. Um, so if I kill you, now the trog's not big enough to kill me. Deal. guy might have a chance to finish him off. I do have to watch it with the spells, though. Ow. Now that bites, but it's not the end of the world. Yeah, he gets his card back. Whatever. I could just Blessing of Kings this guy. He would go up to three attack. But, uh... No, I've got her in my hand now. I should definitely just sword that thing. For justice! The battle! does waste the two health I get from stuff, but uh, next turn she'll come out as a 6-3, and that will put a little pressure on my opponent, hopefully. The frost wolf stands ready. I can just sword him. That's awesome. Or I could do... I have so many options right now. For justice. We're going to do it like this, though. This is fine. Consecrate alone would not kill her. It would wipe out these guys, but that's okay. I'm going to get a hit for a bunch of damage. I have some crazy good stuff in my hand. Ah, the sword. Shield up. You have to Blessing of Kings one of these guys, I guess. Could be worse. Oh, I can't Blessing of Kings and Sword that. Hmm. I think the Blessing of Kings is still going to work out pretty darn well. The battle. The battle. Still saving him. He might come in handy later, you never know. I do have some cheap spells in here. 
I mean, next turn I could play him and Blessing of Champions something. I don't think that's likely to work out well for me, but who knows. To kill this with a sword, he would have to do something else. Oh, okay, the Consecrate. Now, now it's kind of hurting, but at least he's going to take a lot of damage. This makes it less tempting to play at him, that's for sure. She doesn't work out that well either. I guess I'm going to play the other sword and kill that, and then just play some junk. For justice. Yeah, I'm not too worried about the weenies. Maybe this is the time to play him. I mean, she's, he's just going to trade her for him, but... My opponent's low in health. I'm not. Ah, damn it! Okay, that's annoying. Why can I had that thing instead of that row where it was like where I was contemplating taking a stupid six health card? Bring me steel. Yeah. That's a lot of dudes. Kind of annoying. He's pretty good and all, but let's see, I could play her. Give some time. It's not going to work out as well. I'm better off killing this. I mean, I, I don't like leaving him out to do more stuff, but she's still more of a problem than he is in the short term. Mm. Yeah. For justice. And I'm going to... What's the life gain? You know what? Without her, these guys, these guys will do fine. Let's just play these. And... I'll send Fury her. Protect my one toughness guys from the ravages of the Master Swordsmith walking out and pounding them. It is ways to play her and not on him, because he'd be a good target for that. But the mana wasn't going to work out well. Oh, the Blessing of Kings, I don't like that. Not good. Okay. Well, given that, I guess we're going to use him instead. Wait, do I have lethal? No, I can't possibly play that. So I don't have lethal. You can kill either of those guys. He doesn't factor into it too much. I think I'm going to hit you for two. And I don't think this punk's gonna work out all that well, but maybe I'll play he can draw an attack or something. Yeah, why not? Instead of a one one, I might as well. I'll probably actually regret it in a future turn when I could do this and him. Just to like empty out junk. My opponent's out of cards. This guy is worth a lot right now. But it's gonna be a little rough. Feel that, yeah. That's why I should have just played a 1 1, really. Interesting, not especially useful, but interesting. This guy is pretty useful, though. I'm gonna make the 1 1, I'm gonna protect him for a second. You never know, I might get another Blessing of Kings. Right now, it's looking like my opponent needs to trade a lot of forces to kill this, though. That is the hope at the moment. Let me think. Now here's the question. If I get a Blessing of Kings, do I play it on this guy defensively? Like, do I play him and Blessing of Kings him so that nothing bad happens to him? He'd become a real silence target then. Okay, my opponent at much lower health is killing all this stuff, which makes sense. He's going to be fragile, but we're going to play him anyway. And we're going to do this, and we're going to play him, because my opponent doesn't have enough minions out to kill him and this. Without some useful stuff from his hand. This guy can, of course, kill 1-1s one all day long, and in what looks lo like it's going to be a prolonged stalemate sort of battle, that could be useful. Oh, killing 1-1s one all day long could be very useful.
Interesting. Um, we're just gonna play her. We're gonna wait for an opportunity to bless some champion and inflict some damage on my opponent, but still matey grindy battle it is. I must have I have the goblin the piloted shredder, that's a big thing I could draw. I think I have another blessing of kings. Oh crud. It's a good thing he's an idiot, because that could have gone a lot worse. Still, killing him is going to be a pain. I might have to throw this away just to get rid of him, because he's bad. Or should I just race my opponent? <coughs> okay, we're obviously playing him. He would come out as a 6-6. Six, six. I could make this and he'd come out as a 7-7. Seven, seven. Hit my opponent for for 3. 6 health. My opponent would be forced to kill this pretty much. Or I could play him as a 6-6. Six, six, double her attack. Kill that. And then I would have a 6-6 six, six mm. and this guy against that junk. It's hard to tell which situation is better. Opponent is 6 health. But still having all that stuff on the board, things could go wrong. I think I'm better off, even though it's a waste of this thing. No, I, my plan is to save that, actually. Just go... No, no, no. Kill, killing... I gotta do it now, anyway. Just go like that. Well, that seems like the most conservative plan I had. He is quite a trump card at the moment. Hitting that for one was like a sign that my opponent is not happy. Possibly giving up. Or just hoping I would break him. That's a possibility. But I'm just going to reduce the amount of DPSers who are on the board. I should be able to do the 3 damage next turn, I would hope. It would take something pretty impressive to prevent my opponent's demise. That would slow me down, but it's not enough. We We defeated another paladin who also didn't seem so great. I mean, I sure don't seem like such a great paladin right now, so... I don't think that's rubbing it in his face. I think that there, that was a battle between, like, the opposite of a battle between two giants. It was just, like, two little guys. Alright, here's a starting hand full of crap guys of crap. Well, you're crappier than her, especially since I don't have spells. And your crappy starting hand material. I'm just going to pitch both of you and get really expensive things when I'm hoping for cheaper ones. That's probably a moderate improvement in my hand, actually. Although I wasn't considering I was against a mage, which actually makes their, like, summons even weaker. Missed the gem. Oh, unstable portal. Awesome. Have I lost the game already? Uh, that's like a maybe. That's not like a lost, lost the game. I mean, he's only a two-cost guy. So she didn't, like, get crazy ahead there. He's a weird two-cost guy she wouldn't normally have access to, but... And her play was pretty obvious. It would be very strange if there was a situation where that was not the right play to make with him. So I'm going to play this. And... She can either hit me for a ton of damage, or she can go bing, bing, and just clear the board. Which probably works out fine for her. Nope, not even going to bother shooting him. So the question is, do I bother blessing and mighting him? I don't think so. I think the sword is a much better solution. Since I drew that. If I hadn't drawn the sword, it would have been a little trickier. I also could have blessing of kings for this. 
would have been interesting. If she doesn't shoot him this turn, if she plays a Yeti or something, I will probably Blessing of Kings him. But I'm guessing he's getting shot. No, he's not. Ah, oh, Blessing of Kings not going to work as well against that. Huh. I can si silence that guy and play the Spider Tank. That's looking pretty good, honestly. The other choice, I mean, I could play this, Might the Pig, hit that for four, and then finish it with a sword. I'd be frozen, but I won't care because I won't have a sword anymore. It would be gone, but I would have spent a lot of crud killing that thing. I've spent a lot of crud killing that thing, but I have this out in play. That's pretty good. Whereas if I silence it, it's still alive. It's still doing everything but freezing me. And it, it can pick off my weak guys, and the spider tank doesn't hold up too well. I think that the crazy spending a lot of stuff to kill that is actually the better play right now. Without the miracle of hindsight, that seems to be the move. What's the worst thing going to happen? I draw the other sword next turn and I can't use it? Oh no! Next turn I can pilot at Sky Gold if nothing comes up. She didn't have enough mana to shoot my guy, but they don't have enough damage to kill it. Unless one of them gets Blessing of Kings. Ooh -hoo. Blessing of Kings would make her a 6-8. So she'd be a 6-5 after killing this. And I can oh, silence it so she doesn't get frozen. And I'll also get a 2-2. Two, two. Not two one out of it. I could just hand a protection her and said, "No, I think the silencing is actually better right now because well, it uses my mana efficiently and it gives me another guy." I mean, maybe I should have just like not killed that. Maybe I should have just gone for the face, but I, don't know. I think this is good. Oh, the arcane explosion is bad. And fireball this or what? Yep. Okay, well, at least she spent a lot of crud, and now I have a piloted Sky Golem. Funny how that works out. <sighs> Hand of Protection him. He's already just begging to be silenced. But, I mean, she's also likely to have a lot of damage spells. I'd rather save this and use it aggressively, so I'm going to hold off and regret it later. If he just gets frostbolted or fireballed, I will be sad. Um, random. Why did you play him first? Oh, because of that. Okay, I guess that works. No, that was fairly annoying. I'll grant you, that was fairly annoying. Um, well, I think this is a pretty obvious move. Yeah, using the bubble aggressively is dumb because it's a mage. What was I thinking? It would have been it would have made it harder for her to do that turn, but it wouldn't really be good. So I could make a one one, kill that, and then he's at one. Or I can bubble him, kill that, and then he still have a three four. I'm gonna opt for that choice. See if she'd use a flame strike on these two guys. She does kind of know I'm not gonna get a demon. That's not that's not very paladin -y. Not sure how I would have generated a demon in my hand. I don't have unstable portal. Mage does. Okay. Bringing him into water elemental range. Guardian of Kings. This is not necessarily a time for him. On the other hand, getting that advantage in forces might be good. It'd be nice to get these guys out, but... Uh, Hmm. Excuse me. Mm, I think maybe I'm going to get aggressive. No, that's dumb. Because then she could hit this. She could use this to hit this guy for two and then flame strike. That would be dumb. So we're not going to do that. We're just going to be slightly aggressive. Oh, I miscounted my mana. I was supposed to make a 1 1 as well. That was dumb. I was all like, drop the mic. And I dropped my mana instead. I'll put it on your hand. 
That works out really bad, lady. Oh, yeah. It would have been nice to have a 1-1 one, one for that. Go me. And for this. Awesome. Such a bad job. Um... I think we're going to play this and start going a little bit aggressive. Mm. Yeah. I'm just going to hit her in the face a lot. I have full health. I have more army. If she has a flame strike, then she'll win. If she doesn't have a flame strike, I can push her pretty hard. That's the idea. Flame strike. No, not Flame Strike. Yay! If that had hit that and then Flame Strike, it would have been all over. That extra 1-1 one, one would have been really good, though. Stupid, dumb plays. As usual. Uh, I guess we'll play this for you, Amir, Anthony. No. Interesting. Uh, yeah, it's probably a vaporize. Not a vaporize. Do I play him? It's the flame strike bait. He's just he doesn't do me much good. Like if she has a flame strike, I'm probably gonna lose anyway. It's unlikely he's gonna help. But I could be drawing like a blessing of kings, and then it would. Even then, it probably wouldn't think. if he's not out. No, I think I'm going to play him. I think if she's got a flame strike, she's going to win anyway. I just won't be able to recover. My deck's not that good. And if she doesn't have a flame strike, then playing him is almost certainly the right move. A flame strike or an equivalent like major AoE. Does not no secrets to steal. Sea Tech Astronomy. Um, wow, he's gonna be a four-one. I should actually just save that in my hand. So bad. Oh, I'm gonna reduce my opponent to like one hit point or something. That's also not great. I guess we're gonna reduce my opponent to two hit points because I'm gonna do this. That was dumb. But you're low now. You can't shoot this, and shoot this, and shoot this. So again, I'm going to push it. I, I can only offense my way through this. I'm not going to sustain an army longer than her. She has more cards. She can shoot my guys. I can't shoot her guys. I just need to have enough stuff out that two hit points worth can get to her. Or draw my Hammer of Wrath. That would be good. Duplicating the Elementals is not great. Hooray! Hooray for Zoidberg! Break even. When your standards are dropped so low that... <laughs> We count that as a huge win, because now I get to do another video of this run next time. Put the hammer down on that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to Demonet Games for more Hearthstone Arena and other gaming videos.